Egypt grew quickly to become one of the greatest and longest lasting of the ancient civilizations. Although rarely a leader in innovation, Egypt was remarkable for its architecture, art, and science. The pyramids were built around 2500 BC, an amazing achievement for the time. Due to its agricultural wealth, Egypt became an important trading partner. Many less favored regions wanted Egyptian grain and textiles. Egypt lacked timber and wanted wine, copper, tin, oils, gold, horses, and cattle. The mouth of the Nile was an important trading stop for the Minoans, Canaanites, and later traders as well. Trade, 2000 BC. Scenario instructions. Now that you have mastered the techniques for farming along the river, your civilization is among the fastest growing and most advanced in the world. Your increasing wealth makes it possible to trade abroad. The pharaoh requests that you take advantage of your position near the coast to help gather resources for a wondrous new temple he is planning. Your contribution is 1,000 gold and 1,000 stone. Gold can be obtained by trading with the Minoans, Canaanites, or Libyans, but they are all likely to be antagonistic. Stone can be found nearby. Objectives. Stockpile 1,000 stone. Stockpile 1,000 gold. Mining stone and gold. To mine stone or gold, click a villager and then right-click a stone mine or a gold mine. The villager gathers the stone or gold and deposits it at the town center where it is added to your stockpile, as shown in the upper right corner of the game screen. The more villagers you assign to mine, the faster your stockpile grows. Trading with other civilizations Trading lets you exchange the food, wood, and stone in your stockpile for gold. You trade with other civilizations by establishing trade routes to and from foreign docks. Trade boats and merchant ships travel to foreign docks with a cargo of trade goods, 20 food, wood, or stone, receive trade goods for gold, and return to your dock to deposit the gold. The farther you travel to the foreign dock, the more valuable your cargo and the more gold you receive. Trade vessels can carry a maximum of 20 trade goods. If the stockpile of resources you are trading drops to zero, the trade vessel becomes idle. Trading has no effect on the player you are trading with. The resources you drop off and the gold you receive are not added to or deducted from the other civilization's stockpile. To trade with another civilization, build a trade boat or merchant ship at the dock, click the trade boat or mer merchant ship, click the button at the bottom of the game screen that corresponds to the resource you want the vessel to carry, food, wood, or stone, and then right click the dock to trade with. To display a vessel's cargo, click a trade boat or merchant ship. The cargo it carries is displayed in the status box in the lower left corner of the game screen. To display the gold paid at a dock, click the dock. The amount of gold you receive for your trade goods is displayed in the status box in the lower left corner of the game screen, shown as the amount of gold cost. Hints There is a large deposit of stone to the east. Build a store bidding a storage pit near the mine decreases distance your villagers must travel to add the stone to your stockpile. The most efficient way to accumulate gold is to trade your surplus resources. You can build warships at the dock to clear the seas of raiders waiting for the chance to intercept, intercept your trade boats and merchant ships. Build farms and produce excess food that you can trade for gold. You can also build fishing boats to fish for food. If you want to trade food, be sure to click the Trade Food for Gold button, otherwise wood is traded by default. If you attack your enemies on land, leave their docks intact so that you can continue to trade with them. You can build a second dock on the northeast coast to improve trade and redu reduce congestion.
光照。
stuff. Yeah. yeah, I love this game. I love Age of Empires 2 more, but it's still pretty good.
Tonic, Evil Tonic, Oklahoma, Evil Tonic, your Evil Tonic. Hunes.
The wealth of Egypt attracted traders at an early date, and Egypt was thereafter one of the great trading stops along the Mediterranean coast. Trade was an important component of the Egyptian economy. Major Egyptian exports were grain, wine, food, papyrus, linen, perfume, gold, and manufactured goods, statuary, jewelry, and leather. Major imports were timber, copper, silver, tin, and pottery. Egypt held off the barbarian attacks of 1200 BC, but went into decline nonetheless, at least partially because trade came to a virtual halt for many years. Alexander the Great commissioned a new port capital for Egypt named Alexandria, after himself, which became one of the most important ports of the ancient era. Outside the harbor was built the great lighthouse on the island of Pharos, listed among the seven wonders of the ancient world. It stood over 500 feet tall, and its light was visible 30 miles away. Parts of the ruined lighthouse, destroyed by an earthquake, were recently found by underwater archaeologists. Grain from Egypt was critical to the large populations of both Greece and Rome that could be not be supported by local food production. Roman government sometimes fell when grain shipments arrived to, failed to arrive and the starving citizenry rioted. 